Hello everyone, we have very special interview with a very famous YouTuber inside Russia with the name of Konstantin. Hello. Howdy, howdy, Sinusi. Welcome everyone and uh, thanks for having me here. Yeah, nice to hear your howdy, howdy. It's <laughs> very special. Yeah, okay. Uh, the first thing, uh, tell us uh, please about yourself. My name is Konstantin and I'm the host of Inside Russia channel. I started the channel about four years ago. I was living in Russia at the time and I felt like Russia was greatly misunderstood by foreigners and simply they weren't getting enough normal true information from regular people's perspective. I was born and raised in Russia, the, uh, the USSR in Russia, and then at age 20 I moved to the USA to study and I worked there. I lived there for about nine years, so I learned uh, the American ways pretty well. And then I moved back to Russia for work and ended up, ended up uh, living in Russia for almost 20 years. So um, that's my life in a very nutshell. And about four yeah. years ago, like I said, I started the YouTube channel called Inside Russia. Oh, cool. Uh, so uh, uh, the YouTube channel, so what was like uh, uh, the reason or how you started the, your YouTube uh, channel? I have lots of friends and relatives abroad and they have kept asking me questions about Russia, all kinds of questions. Usually mm -hmm. very basic ones, you know, what's the weather like in Russia? You know, how is Moscow like? What kind of stores? And some were funny, even one of the questions was like, do you see Putin every day? Yeah, of course I do, <laughs> you know. So I was constantly writing answers, you know, in messengers, in email. And uh, at one point I was writing, a type, typing a letter to a friend of mine from America, a real estate developer. And it struck me because I was giving him interesting information that could have been interesting to others as well. So I decided to start a YouTube channel where I would make one video and lots of people would watch it. And this basically was the idea behind Inside Russia. Yeah, that's cool. So you didn't even plan to do that, just it's come by coincidence. <laughs> like a because... bolt of lightning struck me. Yeah, yeah. So it's destiny. I kind of believe in destiny. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, what is like how you became such successful in YouTube because you have like uh, more than 100,000, almost like 200,000 uh, subscribers and uh, every single of your videos are doing very well. Uh, so what is like uh, what's behind your success in YouTube? I think uh, success on YouTube is, is actually very simple. Uh, it's a no-brainer. There are two parts to it, and they're very important, uh, but they're very simple. First is your message must be interesting. And the second is you have to do uh, deliver messages consistently. Um, I have been, well, before February 24th, I had been doing uh, messages, videos, and live streams about, you know, how wonderful living in Russia was. Uh, you know, I did live streams where I would take in viewers to see the places and enjoy the places that I enjoyed myself very much. But Moscow and Russia in general is a beautiful country, and then Moscow is a fantastic city, and Rostov on Don, also a great city with yeah. many sides many yeah, sites to, to see because you know you lived in Rostov for what, seven years you know it's a yeah, beautiful but... place and you can take people there and show and share what you like about that place with everyone and Moscow is also a fantastic city and that's what I was doing yeah. uh, my channel was growing uh, and people liked like what I was doing mm -hmm. they liked the messages the videos but then of course February 24th came and uh, my messages changed I started showing the truth uh, and during this trying times the truth was much more needed I take it and the channel started going um, faster. Uh, I do live streams daily 
I have been doing it since 24th of February and I deliver a message usually in a live stream. Then the second part of live stream is I answer questions. And the third is I finish all live streams with prayer because I'm Christian and I believe that uh, praying together is very important. So it's very simple. Just create something that is very interesting for people and do it regularly and that's it. Yeah, that's cool. So uh, we can move to the uh, other question because uh, the four, the third and the fourth question was about uh, YouTube and you already said about uh, uh, good advices to YouTubers to grow and to improve. Uh, so uh, the next one is about Russia generally. What, what do you think about Russia as a country? Well, that's a very general question. Uh, Russia is a great country. It's my home, my motherland. I was born and grew up in Russia. My first language is Russian and my culture is Russian primarily. You know, I love it. Uh, I, Russia is beautiful. Russia is very rich in resources. Uh, Russia has potential to be the richest country in the world. You know, uh, if we leave, if we put aside the events that have been happening in my country uh, yeah. lately, then the country itself is beautiful. I like it very much. Yeah, of course, we all like it. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, uh, what do you think about uh, the political actions of, uh, I don't know, the uh, Russian government, you can say? Yeah, that's hard. Hard question. <laughs> that's hard. Yeah, I'm trying to find words how to say it mildly. Um, I strongly disagree what Russia has been doing with Ukraine and in Ukraine, beginning on February 24th, 2022. Before that, there had been escalate escalation and threats. But I had never thought in a million years that Russia would actually attack Ukraine. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I was very vocal about saying, oh, well, it'll never happen. It'll never happen, including here on YouTube. But then mm -hmm. I woke up to February 24th and it happened. And well, it's a tragedy. I think that's the biggest tragedy that Russia has had in the past recent times. I mean, it's a tragedy for Ukraine. Um, Ukraine has been holding up. Considering, you know, Russia is so much larger, but it's a tragedy for Russia as well for for both countries, because Russia. In the long run is going to suffer much greater than Ukraine. It's already suffered yeah. economically, um, socially, um, you know, all kinds of ways. So. <laughs> I strongly oppose. That's what my channel is about. I give people the truth. I give people my opinions. Um, I live stream every every day, like I said, and I basically am trying to be heard. I stand up. Yeah, I think you are already heard, and a lot of people are realizing the truth, and they are learning about a lot of uh, things. Well, about I'm trying. I'm trying. Happening. Yeah, OK, uh, you can tell uh, also why you come back like to Russia after you left, like to US and uh, you can say also why you as, as well left it again. Well, I left Russia in the first place when I was 20 to go study and then work. I had family in the United States simply because I was always open minded and willing to see the world to learn new things, to learn new people. And I had fantastic life in the United States. I actually made a video on my channel explaining how I lived there and why the two reasons be why I returned to Russia. The, the main reason is I missed Russia a lot because I was born and raised in Russia. My family remained in Russia, mom and dad, you know, my relatives. Um, I missed Russian language, I missed Russia. That was, you know, everything was good except for this little thing in your heart that just doesn't let you sleep uh, well at night. 
you know. And after so many years, I figured out that that thing that didn't let me sleep well at night was homesickness. You know, I was I was really uh, homesick about Russia. So I was thinking of what to do next. I basically made a decision. I got a job offer, a very good job offer in Russia. I got up, uh, took my family, and we left for Russia, for Moscow. And honestly, I did not regret have no regrets because I went through an incredible journey while I ha had been living in Russia. Um, professionally, I gained a lot. Socially, um, my family, I was next to my family. Everything was great until this terrible political things started happening. And they're like poison. They're, yeah. they're poisoning everything in my country, okay? Everything is, is getting destroyed. So, uh that's why i came back um but i have left again yeah i see i see okay uh, so regarding the situation uh or like uh, do you see now for example any uh solution for all these like f uh, solution from people from other countries and uh, let's suppose you are like the president or the Russian president, what you will do, like, what would you do to to make the situation better? There is always the way out. Uh, first of all, what Russia needs to do is start de-escalating. The bloodshed that has been happening in Ukraine for the past seven and a half months must be stopped. OK, that's number one. Order all soldiers to cease fire. Order all military men to stop launching rockets at Ukraine. That's what I would do, number one. And then, uh, you know, I don't think that um, there's so much about other countries and their actions. They're waiting. I think that many countries are open to start negotiating. It's, it's about Russia, because Russia keeps on escalating, as far as I understand. And if I was a Russian president, one thing I would do, I would, um, you know, address the nation, address the world. And I said, I would say something like, you know, uh, please forgive us for all the bloodshed, for all that has happened in the last months. Um, I, you know, we made a mistake and I am as a president stepping down and will let yeah. others to clean up this mess. Okay. That's what I would do if, if I was the president. Yeah, I see. I see. It's uh, nice to hear, by the way. OK, uh, so we have like it went like only 13 minutes. So and we have the last question. Uh, so um, as vlogger, you personally, of course, you may have your own ideas and your plans, how to improve things, how to share the information. And maybe you can there are a few or maybe many uh, Russian or people or all people who are talking about this situation, etc. So what are your plans to like change something for the best in your channel? And what do you advise other YouTubers and other people who are like talking, covering this situation to talk about or to do? There are two advices I would give to any blogger, any person who want to make a difference. First is be honest to yourself and to your audience. Uh, tell the truth. And the second is standing up, be loud, and be consistent. Uh, if you are honest but you don't do much, you know, it's not that important. But uh, so be honest, be loud, be heard, be seen, and uh, do it on a regular basis. Yeah, that's cool. And I think about the plans, people, they can find a video, your stream, you're explaining better how, what are your plans uh, for your channel. Yeah, My plans are fairly simple for the channel. Um, I have been pretty simple guy, and you followed me for quite some time. You know, I don't have fancy yeah. equipment, I don't have fancy, you know, 
camera and uh, I don't have a production team or anything like that. And I intend to yeah. stay that way. It's just every night I sit in front of the camera, I take a microphone, I take my telephone that I use as camera, and uh, I sit in front of the telephone and I tell what I have in my heart and in my mind. And yeah. the plan is very simple. I'm not going to change anything. Yeah, I will continue to do what I have been doing, plain yeah. and simple. So uh, that's the only plan I have. Yeah, I, I hope all what you are doing and all people who want to change the situation for the best, I hope they will uh, uh, achieve their goal and you will achieve your goal. And maybe the thing I like about, uh, I didn't even mention in the questions as well, maybe because I like a lot when you pray, maybe you can like right now pray a little bit and it will be as well reported in this interview. I like your praying, Reed. Um, I will do. Before I pray, um, I would like to tell two things. So the reason yeah. I'm answering your questions, I like your channel very much. I'm very glad that you are over 1,000 subscribers now. And you. you know what struck me was your videos, how you play with your son. Yeah. Um, they are very authentic. They are very sincere. And I see that, uh, you know, um, you you take your audience with with you to see who you are, and I like who you are because of that. You know, you're a Thank family you. man, and clearly your actions also show that your last actions uh, show that you care about the family, and um, that's what your uh, priority is. And yeah, um, sure. again, thank you for having me. Um, you're welcome. I invite I invite everyone who's watching right now to pray with me. Um, please join me, CNC as well. Um, and I don't know you Muslim or Christian. Uh, I'm not uh, like uh, practicing any religion, but I think there is a God, and I believe in destiny. I believe in karma, and I think uh, the praying will help for sure. Well, please please join. You can just you know in your mind. Pray with me and yeah. uh, okay, yeah. let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Um, dear God, thank you so much for giving us this wonderful day. Thank you for putting food on our tables. Thank you for giving our roofs over our heads. And please, um, thank you for surrounding us with people that we love and who love us. Please help our children, keep them safe and healthy and give us, their parents, wisdom to bring them up in the way that when they grow up and become adults, they will make this world a better place and they will never, never get into involved into wars with each other. Uh, please help stop the bloodshed in Ukraine. The country has suffered enough. Um, please reach out people who make decisions about this and fill their hearts with love, mercy, empathy, forgiveness, Make them make the decision to stop this. And whoever needs help in Ukraine, all people that have been affected, please help them. Send, uh, answer the prayers, make their wishes come true. Send their strength, send them uh, forgiveness, recovery. And um, please help people in my country, Russia, who are suffering, who are against the bloodshed. They also need help. Uh, spiritual help and any other help, please help too. Thank you for bringing us into this uh, video, into this small community or not so small. Yeah. And thank you for letting us pray together. Uh, yeah, so. Dear God, Amen. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, so it's uh, the cool thing that's, I mean, it's all, in all religions and they, in all uh, countries, they say, I mean, so it's, I mean, it's all, all international word. See, you see, you see, in my uh, live streams, sometimes I have up to 25,000 people simultaneously watching, and yeah. uh, quite a few of them leave for prayers. The largest, uh, uh, the largest group I had prayed with me was around 10,000 people. Oh. And among them, there are Christians, Muslim, Jewish, yeah. um, Buddhists, and atheists. 
But the yeah. thing is, to me, I don't make a difference between people and between religions. Okay, to me, it's very simple. Okay, it goes like this: if you have heart, if you're a live person, you have heart mm -hmm. that beats. Okay, and if your heart beats, then you have love in your heart for someone. Some people have more love, some people less love. But I haven't seen one person without love. Okay, and yeah. if you have love in your heart, to no matter to what or to who, you know, that is God. Plain and yeah. simple, and it doesn't matter you atheist or what religion you practice. That love is God, and God is one yeah. because love is one. We all love in the very same way. So, to me, that's fairly simple. That's why I invite everyone to prayers. That's why I don't make no no difference between Christians, you know, Muslims, Jewish, and all other religions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for your praying. Thank, thank you very much for participating in this great interview. And I hope everyone like it. So uh, like this video, subscribe, comment, and of course, subscribe to uh, Inside Russia if you are not subscribed yet. Thank you, my friend, half Russian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are welcome.